be people in this room who are not working for either KDAP or ICS or Digia. <laughs> Can I see some hands? Who's not working for KDAP, ICS or Digia? <laughs> Whoa, that's great. And that's a bit of a novelty. People who are actually paying to get here are not getting paid. <laughs> there seems to be intelligent life on this planet and, a, and there seems to be a life after Nokia. And as we can see from the registrations, new blood is flowing in all the time. We, we had this question on the registration, how many years have you been using Qt? And there were quite a few who said zero to one or one to two years. So indeed, our community is growing and I wouldn't call that that. Four months ago, we at KDAP couldn't imagine to live in a world without dev days. Just as much as we couldn't imagine to live in a world without triple chocolate chip ice. Who wrote my speech? <laughs> And ICS said the same. And after they had completed the acquisition of the Qt asset, Digia joined us as co-hosts. Four months ago, we thought, how hard could this possibly be? It's typical programmer's hubris, right? Let's get a venue and a coffee machine. Four months later, negotiations with caterers, security people, lecturers, printers, government officials, and numerous nervous breakdowns were finally here. Welcome to the ninth Qt Developer Days. <laughs> Welcome to the first Qt Developer Days in modern times. Welcome to the first Qt Developer Days in Berlin. Ich bin ein Berliner. <laughs> At least for three days. If you've been to last year's Qt Developer Days in um, Munich or in California, Qt was all about, they were all about Qt Quick, um, Qt, uh, um, Qt Declarative, all about cell phones really, and those cell phones are gone. But now we have new cell phones, RIMs going all in with Qt on BB10. And we still have the desktop. The media is writing that the desktop is dead, but that's not what we are seeing in our projects. People are still not using tablets to find oil. And <coughs> there you go. <laughs> and af and af and after they've made all the, pro the, pro uh, the profits from finding that oil, they are filing their taxes with Qt software on the desktop. At KDAP, we are very committed to the desktop. We have the widgets maintainer. We are contributing a lot to OS 10, which is a platform that is very close to our hearts. And as far as industrial embedded projects go, just walk down the exhibition aisle and in pretty much all the booths, you can see them and we are, um, I'm sure many of you are busy with your own industrial embedded projects and we are starting about one, one a month. That's enough of me rambling here. I have the pleasure of welcoming on stage Tommy Leitinen, who is um, the head of Qt, and he'll give us the scoop on Qt gearing up for the future. Welcome, Tommy. <laughs> 